So if you've been following the exploits of Linus Media Group for any extended period of time, there's a good chance you've come across this tour of our previous headquarters, as well as this series of videos chronicling our move into a larger, more modern office. But while we did make a video showing our editors upgrading their workstations for the new editing den, we didn't, aside from thanking NVIDIA for sending us Titan X's for the new machines, get into the specifics of all the other hardware and everything that goes around them. And we've received a lot of requests to take a deeper dive into the hardware that our editors use to do their daily work. So without further ado, here we go. <laughs> Uh, do -do -do. Corsair's RMI series power supplies feature premium components for great performance with very low noise. Check out the link in the video description to learn more. Okay, editors, come with me. What? We have oh. to collect all of your peripherals. Yay! I call an MX Master. Nope. Can you guys just calm down about the MX Masters? <laughs> okay, so everybody gets a Silverstone headphone stand. Oh, really? Yay! Silverstone Yay! headphone stand. Yay! Silverstone headphone stands yeah. for all. Where are those Yay! Everybody gets a new keyboard. 910 for you. Yay! Make up a stack because I'm handing you more stuff before we leave here. 910 for you, Dennis. I don't know. I you picked never, not a 910. You picked a G710 plus, yes. if I recall. Oh, correctly. I actually did too. Seven ten. Oh, you have yours? Yeah. Everyone has a keyboard? Rock uh, on. Okay, mice. The only fair and equitable way I'll to divide the, the MX Masters. <laughs> okay, so Ed's out of the running. You want simple. Hyperion oh, or the uh, G303. Give him a 302. Uh, you want a Hyperion yeah. theory? Okay. Well, I don't know. Uh, who's remains? Brandon? Oh, okay, well then you got an MX Master, I no! guess. No! <laughs> oh, that's BS! <laughs> Everyone else is out of the running. You guys no, have already got your mouse pads. Headphone! Uh, who picked the Momentums? Not me. Taren. That no? was No, Taryn didn't pick Momentums. I, okay. I picked the back ones, although I like these ones. Oh, yeah, well, look who more. didn't pick them. Huh? You picked HD8 DJs. You bet. So you legitimately yeah. get one of those. Yeah. I repped them. Um, I want one. So these are open back, yeah. uh, but badass. Um, who will take those? Taryn wants. Taryn, Taryn ordered one. I ordered one. Taryn, Taryn ordered one. The editing room so is so loud. He, he They're fine, one. but I can hear all of you guys there, talking uh, all the time. Um, one, Dennis, you had said you liked these, right? Mm -hmm. No, you don't like it. You want me to? Yeah. Have it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I still have an HD6 <laughs> mix. Okay. I'll, I'll try it. Yeah. There. No. Done deal. All right, next up, everybody gets a Siren Pro Elite. Oh, really? Oh, you mean I that thing that broke mine, my monitor? So. It, well, you broke, you your, broke monitor. your monitor it's with not the, the Siren It's not Pro. the Siren's fault. Burkle, I think you're out of here. Okay, cool. I'm going to go sell all this stuff. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Right, you get one of those. Are we done? And I think you're done. Yep, you're out of okay, here. Okay, I'm going to poot her on out here. Beep, beep, beep. Kinda... Is this our uh, USB audio? Yep. Sort of. Oh no, I forgot about those. Okay, that's why I was wondering. Okay, can I just pick up your mic? The sirens. What? Santa, you're so slow. Everyone, meet me around the other side. Oh, I got you. What other side? Oh, we're getting the shit stacks. One of these. We are getting all the shit stacks. I already have shit stacks. Magni and Modi twos. Well, don't go away yet. Okay, Magni and Modi twos for all. Uh, okay, right. And everyone. Okay, back around to the other side. Here's a power adapter. Thank you. You have one of these? Well, uh, maybe. No, it got put back, Taryn. Oh. Put, put all my okay, things there. back. You have everything, Burkle. You're done. Thank I'm you. Sure I have it. everything in the world. Uh, okay. Done? Is that it? Yeah, you guys are done, I think. Yeah. End of Christmas is here. Ho, ho, ho. This is one forgetful Santa. Hi, First Santa. of all, here's your desk organizer. Uh, second of all. I called not that one. Okay. I1 Display Pro Colorimeters for all. You oh, can yeah. calibrate your monitors. So enjoy your colorimeters, everyone. Let's do that now. Don't you need to check everyone? Yeah, I checked you already. This is so much. 
value in all these Christmas presents. This is like the best Christmas ever. Best, it's not even Christmas. Even better than that Christmas where I got the food. Made all those creepy times on Linus's lap worth it. <laughs> <laughs> right. HD, you want 650s? Sit on my lap a little longer, Ed. So we're putting up uh, this wall decal. That's great, it's only slightly less crooked than Dennis's Iron Man face. My cool. <laughs> we may have gone over budget. Yeah. It, it, it's not the 90s. What do you need a calendar for? So. Fractal Josh got this done. Did you ask Kimberly Schultz if he could do an unauthorized print? I did not. Wow. But, okay, so my order came in from uh, DFTBA. Um, I see Dennis has this weirdo. It is actually pretty cool, but Linus said no desk ornaments. Okay, all the stuff my bought is all useless. That doesn't help your case any. <laughs> I thought oh, I told you you're only like, supposed to do the wall in front of you. Who said, ever said that? That's common space. Oh, no it's not. Literally no one has listened to anything I said about this. And your desk is a mess. Would you check out this photograph? Because honestly, every time I do, <laughs> makes me laugh. Someone, someone else missed the memo about not having the wall next to them. What else is that wall going to be creative? I got the most things for my money, I think. Actually, you did too. Yes, yeah, sucka. So the first big upgrade from Need for Seat USA as well as Updesk.com is in the furniture department. So everyone got office comfort or dominator chairs. You can see that everyone's equipped with, if they were listening, the orange and black versions of the aforementioned chairs, but some people went and ordered black ones anyway. It was supposed to all be orange and black for LTT and equipped with a height adjustable desk. So these are good for a couple of reasons. Number one is that they allow you to change to a standing height throughout the day. If you just wanna move around and get more comfortable, you can see we've also got these mats from Costco so that your, your heels and the balls of your feet don't get fatigued from standing. And then the other thing that they do is they allow you to sit at a height that's most comfortable for you. So you can see that Dennis and Edsel both prefer very different heights, even for their seating position. So the other cool thing is that you can actually program different heights. So you just hold it down, and as long as there's no obstacles under the desk, yeah, we're good. Then boom, this is Burkle's sitting height, which is obviously not very comfortable for me, but that's the whole point. And everyone being a special case, I guess, leads us pretty well into Taryn's workstation, where the first thing you'll notice is he removed the armrest from his chair. I also like to scoot up as close to my desk as possible so that I can rest my arms on it rather than my armrest. And the second thing you'll probably notice is that he has three monitors, unlike everyone else in the company who was just fine with two 31-inch 4K monitors. So LG kindly provided one extra monitor for Taryn to put scripts or whatever else on. But most people are equipped with two 31MU97 monitors. These are true 4K monitors, so they're 4096 by 2160, not Ultra HD. They feature 10-bit panels, they've got height adjust, the, actually the full range of ergonomic adjustments that we need, and what's really cool about them is they actually have support for not only sRGB color space, which frankly is all we're using for publishing to the web anyway, but also 99.5% coverage of Adobe RGB and even support for DCI. So if we were ever to you know, do something where it's like, yeah, we need to do this as if it's gonna be shown in a movie theater, then we would actually have the capability to do that. Neat little accessory that goes with it is actually these little X-Rite i1 Display Pros. So these allow us to calibrate the monitors as well as monitor ambient light so that they can adapt to different ambient light in the room, although it doesn't really change much, so that you're always getting the best color accuracy possible. Next up, we've got our peripherals. So everyone was using just a mishmash of random stuff back at the old office. Logitech stepped up and offered to provide us with whatever keyboards we wanted. So you'll find a healthy mix of G710 Pluses for those who prefer the Cherry MX experience and Orion Spark G910s for those who prefer the Romer G experience and mice. Now, a lot of people wanted MX Masters. Brandon's the only one who got one of those, unfortunately, but the good news is that Logitech's gaming mice, whether it's the G402 or the G502, which is what most of the others opted for, 
offer great tracking and of course very good performance and ergonomics as well. They're just not wireless, although Brandon doesn't seem to be using the wireless functionality of the MX Master anyway. For the rest of the peripherals, we actually love these desk mats from SteelSeries. These are great because it means you can have as much or as little actual mouse pad as you want. You can also throw them in the wash machine, something this one probably needs if you ever need to clean them. And these were a nice addition as well. So in the past, no one really had microphones at their desks, but Razer sent us Siren Elites for everyone's workstations, and we use them for all kinds of stuff, whether it's uh, recording those clever voiceovers at the end of next time on Scrapyard Wars, or even creating sound effects at our desk something that happens more often than you'd probably think. <laughs> That's too much. Finally, everyone got their audio upgraded as well. Most people were using some mix of different gaming headsets that we had left over from reviews. Now everyone's using something from Sennheiser, whether it's an HD6 mix, HD8 DJ, or even some people opted for their audio file series, uh, HD 600s or HD 650s. And of course, for some of those headphones, we had to go ahead and upgrade our audio source. So Shit Audio, yes, that is actually the name of the company, if you haven't heard of them before, sent us Shit Stack 2s, so Magni 2 and Modi 2 DAC and amps, for every one of our editors to power their new headphones. Which leads us to the towers. Now we didn't change that much. Uh, we did add those aforementioned Titan X graphics cards, but we're still using the same 4960X Extreme Edition, six cores, uh, 32 gigs of Kingston memory. Unless you're Ed, he's got a 12 core Xeon and 64 gigs of HyperX memory, but you know, whatever, he's just a boss apparently. Uh, a couple people have quadros for doing color work. Uh, everyone's got Kingston KC series SSDs, Cooler Master V750 power supplies. No, the only things we really changed were the coolers, where we went with their new Gemin 2 coolers, as well as the cases. So we switched over to Silencio series cases because what we discovered is that while the intention with whole room water cooling was actually to overclock the workstations, um, now that we don't render on the workstations anyway, Quiet and consistent long-term reliable operation is more of a focus. So we went back to air cooling, which has fewer points of failure, and we went with cases that had noise dampening material built into the inside so that the office environment, except when people are talking or filming in it, is really, really quiet. Air except the editing room so is so loud. Yeah. Which leads us to our last demo. If I could get the camera focusing its attention on Brandon's system. Boop. What's all this then? Ah yes, General Electric kitted us out with 2000 volt amp UPS units for every single workstation, meaning that even in the event of a power outage, not only our server room, but also the individual workstations of our editors are protected and will continue to run on battery power for quite some time, like in excess of 20 minutes, giving us time to save our work correctly, you know, even if Premiere's being a bit of a butthead or whatever else, back up all the data to where it needs to go and shut down the systems correctly. A very, very important thing to be able to do. So that's pretty much it. While I think we can all agree that uh, my team and I struggled during the move and shortly after the move to maintain our usual standard of quality with the content. I really feel like we've finally found our stride and the content that you guys are looking at now reflects not only the better space that we have to work in, but also the better equipment that we have in order to create our videos. So all that's left now is to thank our sponsor, Dollar Shave Club, who actually, this was not planned, but incidentally was the sponsor of our last office tour back when we were at the old place, the one I referred to at the beginning. So if you're not sure what Dollar Shave Club is, guys, it's the club where you join for, well, not dollar, but a few dollars, just a few dollars a month, where you can shave your face, prepare your face for shaving, put stuff on your face that smells nice after you're done shaving, and wipe your butt. Yes, they have supplies for all of those things. It's available in Canada, the US, and Australia, and basically it's for people who wanna look like they go out of their house without actually going to the store, finding someone to open up the stupid 
unfathomably, why does this exist, cage that store, I mean, I know why they exist, it's because people steal them, but people wouldn't steal the razor blades and cartridges if they weren't so freaking expensive. So anyway, Dollar Shave Club solves all those problems by making it easier to get them and cheaper. They just show up at your door, you shave, you look nice, you wipe your butt, you smell nice on your butt. I mean, if that's a factor for you and yeah, so visit dollarshaveclub.com slash Linus, linked in the video description to join the club. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, well, you know where that button is too. But if you did like it, get subscribed. Consider buying a cool shirt like this one over at merch.linustechtips.com, as well as consider supporting us by shopping on Amazon with our link. Instructions for how to do that are in the video in the corner up there. So once you're done doing all those things and you're wondering what to watch next, maybe check out Oh, the calendar's right here. Haha, -ha, I'm in the editing den. Uh, check out Luke's video where he shows off the finished Fallout 4 build. See, that's actually being worked on right now. Right there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.